Music streaming apps and digital libraries are the most popular way for young people to listen to music, hands down. Mm -hmm. But Maddie Gardner shows us a magical machine from the past that's making a comeback. With the push of a few buttons, these gears start to move. They turn, lift a disc, place it on a reader, and play a track. When these gears stop working, Paul Dickerson Sr. takes a look under the hood. Uncles and older brothers were in the business before I was born, so I sort of just hung around as a kid, like I said, all my life, been around it all my life. Dickerson has fixed thousands of jukeboxes, old ones, new ones, and even funky ones. They're what keep his business spinning. You got a jukebox that's 40, 50 years old, the gears and stuff are start wearing, especially if a customer lets it sit dry and they try to run it, so well, it's just stopped off, so that's because it's all dried up. While people generally consider jukeboxes a thing of the past, they're being manufactured again for the first time in 20 years. The sort of uh, nostalgia element to that is obviously pretty key. Matt Switlowski says flipping through a jukebox is like scrolling through a digital music library. I Meaning you pick a song and you play it, and then you can pick another song and, and play that song. I think that's more in line with how people enjoy music now as opposed to the sort of album-oriented classic rock model. The resurgence is also related to the high demand for vinyl records. In 2014, vinyl sales were the highest they've been in 25 years, which is great news for Dickerson. Records are meant to be played, hence the need for a jukebox. What's the price tag on getting a jukebox fixed? Well, they vary. They go anywhere from $500 up to uh, $2,500. People are willing to pay that charge because the memories and music of a jukebox are priceless. In Raleigh, I'm Maddie Gardner reporting. Priceless indeed. That is Seriously. so cool, Lewis. What's one of your favorite classic songs to jam out to? Oh, Maybe. man. Well, I have been on such a Bruce Springsteen kick lately. Born to Run, just... Total classic. How about you? Um, I'm a big fan of Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody okay, specifically, yeah. and I'll go ahead and show it, throw it out here. You know, oh, nothing here really go. matters. Anyone can see nothing really matters to Avery and me. All right, Lewis, I like it.